Yo, what's going on guys? I wanted to start off by saying that this server is extremely underrated. It peaks at about 50 online and seriously deserves a lot more attention. Link down below if you want to come check it out. Moving on, just like always, I've got a massive giveaway for you guys. So just like always, the first commenter on the video is going to get themselves an ultra mystery box, so congrats to everyone that. One random commenter down below is going to win themselves the combined spirit shield. This is worth $200 on the in-game shop. One of the best in slot shields and definitely worth a lot of money. And to correlate with the video a little bit, one random commenter down below is going to win themselves 25 Blood Wars vouchers. I will explain on this video why these are so overpowered, but this is going to be a massive giveaway. And just like always, all you have to do to enter is like the video, comment your in-game name down below, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications because on every video, the first commenter gets a prize. Let's get into it. Real quick video for you guys today, but tell me this doesn't look absolutely amazing. This is the Blood Queen Ara on Autoscape. This is going to be one of the four new Blood Wars dungeon bosses. Well, I guess to be fair, it's not overly new. I just thought it was fucking insane and wanted to show you guys it. So let's jump right into that. I'll meet you guys at home. By the way, guys, Autoscape did just do a little revamp of their home, and I think it looks really good now. They've essentially just opened up the place and moved a few things around, and I think it looks a lot better. And over here is basically where I chill. Yo, tell me why there's always somebody behind the bank. Anyways, you guys might be wondering why I have so many different sets of like Ceridoman and Zamorak on my bank. Essentially, this is for the Blood Wars dungeon. You can get there by simply going over to the graveyard in Lumbridge. Come into here, you have the Blood Wars guide, and then you have the Blood Wars entrance. Talking to the guide, as you can see, the entrance next to us is obviously the Blood Wars dungeon, but the requirements to get into the boss rooms. If you have some spare boss points, you can buy Blood Wars vouchers from the boss point exchanges, which by the way, I am giving away 25 this video. Or if you don't have any Blood Wars vouchers, you will have to sacrifice a set of the previous tier to that boss. So for example, to get into the Blood King Grador, you need to sacrifice a full Bando set. So the chest plate, the tacits, and the boots. For the Ceridoman room, you have to sacrifice a full Ceridoman rune set and a Ceridoman god sword. The same thing for the Zamorak room, a full Zamorak set and a Zamorak god sword. And then for the Blood Queen Ara, you have to sacrifice a full Armadil set. So it's actually really expensive to get into here. And looking at that animation, you are gonna see that a lot on this update. So let's jump down the entrance. And here we are. So I actually forget what quest this area is from on RuneScape, but I actually love it. But basically you have the Blood Queen Ara portal, the Blood Queen Ziliana, the Blood King Suitsroth, and the Blood King Grador. As you can see, I need the full set to enter it or the vouchers, so I'll be right back. And here we are with pretty much my best in slot range set. I know I'm only using the normal twisted bow, I could be using a custom one, but they hit way too fucking strong, so I decided to grab the normal twisted bow. And as you guys saw earlier, you either need the vouchers or the full set to actually get into there, so essentially one of these vouchers is worth a full God Wars dungeon set. So that's why the 25 that I'm giving away is insane. So the first thing I'm going to show off is the Blood Queen Ara. It is essentially the same thing as the normal Kree Ara, except it does a shit ton of damage and it has over 2600 health. At the moment, the minions do not aggro you, that will be getting fixed in the upcoming future, so I guess uh, grind out your your God Wars Dungeon 2 will you have the chance. The cool thing as well, you actually don't need multiple tickets to kill multiple bosses. So one voucher or one entrance is actually just entering an instance for you. So after you actually kill the boss, it'll just keep respawning. So you can sit there until you're out of supplies. So it is expensive, but it's not too expensive. There is also a blood altar in here as well. So you can heal and restore your prayer points. So I think that's pretty sick. But honestly, the majority of God Wars Dungeon 2, or at least when I'm in the Vorecast set and using a Twisted Bow, is pretty AFK. I'll finish up this Kriara kill and I'll see you guys in a minute. And there we are, that boss done. You also get five boss points for killing that, and look at that, that is perfect timing. So another thing that I wanted to show you guys, you don't need the vouchers in the God Wars dungeon sets to actually kill this. As you can see in the chat, the Blood Wars Zeliana spawned in the wilderness as a little world boss. So when you're playing on Autoscape, be sure to go check that out. But moving on now, we're going to go check out the Blood Grador, climbing back down the hole, and once again using another Blood Wars voucher. So once again, the minions don't aggro you. If you would like a challenge, you can aggro the minions, but there's no real point. Honestly, in the gear that I'm in, everything on the Blood Wars dungeon is really fucking AFK. So with that, I decided to dumb it down a little bit for myself, make it a little bit more relatable for you guys, but I still have my twisted bow. Moving on, let's check out the Blood Queen Ziliana. I cannot get over how these bosses look. They did a really good job modeling them. And as you can see, the Kriara has the most amount of HP from all the bosses. And to my knowledge, I believe the Ziliana is the easiest to kill. I've camped a few of them, and I'd say I kill the most per trip on the Ziliana. But obviously, if you get yourself some vouchers, pretty much go for whatever piece that you're looking for. And I'm about to get clapped in my fucking carols. It is still easily doable. Keep in mind, I obviously do have a twisted bow, but the custom content on this server is fucking amazing. Let's go take a look at all the possible drops from the God Wars Dungeon 2. And I just got a Ceridome and Godsword. What the fuck? Easy. Moving on, this is pretty much everything that it drops. From Bandos, you have the Blood Bandos helmet, the Blood Bandos chest plate, the tacits, and the boots. As well, you also have the Pet Grador, the Blood Prince Toothroth, the Blood Princess Ara, and the Blood Commander Ziliana. They all look fucking amazing. Honestly, there are some really clean looking pets. You also have chances to get the Lunar Staff, 
and the Twisted Magma Bow, which are the best in slot weapons in the game, as well as a Demonic Scythe. There is definitely a lot of different rewards from the God Wars Dungeon 2, and it is so fucking unique. Once again, another amazing aspect about this server. There's obviously a lot more to Autoscape than that. I just thought that content was really unique and I wanted to show for you guys. Come check out Autoscape, guys. Link down below. This server is actually sick, and like I said, it peaks at about 50-60 online very often. This server seriously deserves a lot more appreciation than it gets. The staff team definitely go out of their ways, and the community is so friendly. But I guess with that, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Like I said earlier, I apologize for the shorter video, but I just thought that was insane. Just like always, guys, don't forget to enter that juicy giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed, and later!